Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Melda Production, and today I want to show you M Drum Replacer. So this was recently released, or actually still kind of in beta, but you can pick it up now at a reduced price. You see here, yeah, that's really good discount. So if you're looking for a drum replacer, definitely check this out. And today I thought I'd do like a quick run through and show you how to use the basic features. It has lots of advanced features, but I just want to go over the basics today so you can see how it works. So I have some tracks here. Let me mute this so you can hear it. Some live drum tracks. Okay, and I'm going to show you how you can use them on these tracks. So if we open it up here, you see we have M Drum Replacer. Okay. Now we have lots of things here. We have the wet and dry, which I want to move up to 100%, but you can blend it in if you want to blend the sample with the other stuff. Uh, we have leveling, which I'll go over later. You have close mics, overhead mics, room mics, uh, etc. If you want to go into that and like really tweak it, that's great and it's really easy. I like how it's on the front page so it's easy to move. We have other things like input, output, look ahead. So this actually does work with look ahead. It should compensate compensate for the latency in your DAW if your DAW actually does that, which is good. Uh, minimum velocity level, a velocity shift, which you might... Uh, if, let's say, you hit it hard, like the drummer's playing too hard, and you're like, ah, I want to move it down a little bit so not all the hits are at, you know, 127 in your, you know, MIDI, uh, we can move it like this, and it'll just shift it down. And then velocity shape, which is similar, but instead of... It will kind of compress or, I guess, decompress the uh, velocity shape or the hits, uh, if that makes sense. In a, a future video, I'll try to go over some of the more advanced features and explain this a little bit more clearly. But uh, I want to, you know, kind of get this done. Let's go through this because there's lots of stuff in here. So here we have the detector. Uh, we'll adjust that later. And the main thing we have is the drum library here. Where we have lots of different types of drums. If you're wondering where you get these from, or maybe if you don't have any other Melda plugins or anything, you want to go in here into the menu and where it says download and install products, just go in here, just click on it, and you'll see this. Uh, so M Sound Factory Essentials you probably won't need because this is an M Sound Factory. But M Drummer Essentials you probably want. This is a piano, we don't need that. Uh, the studio uh, here, you probably want. Electronic genres, if you like electronic stuff, you want it. And Drum Empire, which is the newest one, which is huge. So you can get all these samples, and they can all be used inside M Drum Replacer. Not the piano, but <laughs> the other stuff you can. And so from here, we can select whatever bass drum, etc., snare drum, etc. Now, I'm going to use a uh, bass drum here, because this is a bass drum. And... In here, in the drum library, these are going to be more or less presets. So let's go to Drum Empire 2020. This is the newest one out. Let's go to Rock, and I don't know which one. Let's try Greenwich Custom 2. Just double click on that. And then we can go to the drum editor if you want. And so here you see, like, oh, you can select it here. And you're thinking, what's the difference between this, selecting the sample here versus selecting it here? If I just select it here, it's just going to load the sample, but what it won't do is it won't load the effects. Here, it's loading the effects and everything. Unless you hit the dry one, then it's not going to load it because there's no effects on the dry version. But you see here, you have different things like effects on it. We have a compressor. We have an EQ. If you go in here, you see tons of other effects. I believe those are all in there, although it may not be. It may You might have to unlock those, unlock those by purchasing them, but it does have effects. At any rate... Um, we can go in here, you can put effects on the overheads, the room mics, etc. And we can also tweak things here like the uh, envelope, volume envelope, the pitch, you can adjust the layers if you want. And here you can just blend between the close mics, the room mics, overheads, uh, room two, fairly easily if you want. So that's how that works. Let's go back to the detection. Now what we're going to do here is just solo this, we'll play it, and I'll mess with the threshold so you can hear what it's doing. Now, if you heard that and you see these, like these two hits, it sounds like it's kind of like doubling. And that's usually because the threshold is too low. It's picking up some noise. So what we're going to do is just move this up a bit as we play it. Okay. 
Okay. Also, I noticed it's way too loud. Let's move this down a bit like this. That's sounding better, but eh, I don't really like that one. Let's try another sample here. It's pretty good. So here's the before. Okay, so before it sounded like just hitting a cardboard box. This sounds much better. So we fixed that one. Let's go over to the snare drum here. We'll do the exact same thing. We can just copy it over there. Let's set this back to default. Let's actually turn the output down so we're not blowing out our speakers like we were before. And we can just go and do the exact same thing here with the snare, just drum Empire 2020. I don't know what I want. Uh, I don't know. Should I do? Oh, let's just go in here. Drum Empire 2021. Something fat, I guess. There we go. Okay. Make sure we... Actually, you don't have to, but I want to change this to all the way wet, and we'll do the same thing. Now, this one, if I bypass it, you'll notice there's a lots of the hi-hat in there. So for that, I'm really going to want to move the threshold up like this. There you go. And let's say if I want more room mic and overhead in there, I can do that too. Okay, now let's hear this, the bass drum and the snare drum, and then I'll turn them off so you can hear what it sounds before and after. So this is B4. There we go, that's pretty good. And I'll do one more here. I generally don't like drum replacers for hi-hats, but I'll show you this anyway, just to show you how it works. And I'll show you one cool feature with this. So we have it on default, do the same things again. Let's go to the drum library. Let's find a hi-hat here. I don't know, let's do another drum empire. Uh, I have no idea what I want. Uh, let's try this one. Okay, and what we're gonna do is just solo it and play it and you know it's like hey I don't hear anything if you bypass it but lots of those aren't being detected so what we're gonna do is raise the input like this Now I'll just turn the output down a little bit so it's even. And I'll show you something else you can do. Like one thing you'll notice, like this is really uneven. Now you notice here where it has the velocity. What I can do is I can try to even it out. So if I move this someplace and then I turn the velocity all the way up, you'll see it makes all the hits even, completely even. Okay, so maybe not completely even, but it's pretty close. You see those red dots? That's the correction. And you can also turn this down. So like, I don't want it quite that even, but I want something close like this. Okay. 
Okay, and yeah, let's put it in here. Okay, that's probably too loud. And of course, you probably want to mix them so they sound a little bit better. I actually, normally I wouldn't replace everything. I probably wouldn't replace symbols like this. But I just wanted to give you an idea of what this can do and how you can use this. So oftentimes this leveling feature can be really useful if you have someone who's not hitting the snare uh, evenly every time or the bass drum evenly every time. It can really help even that out and make it sound better. In the future, if you're interested, I'll do a video comparing M Drum Replacer and M Drum Re Enhancer because they do similar things, but there's different times you might want to use them. So I can go over why you'd want to use one versus the other, or oftentimes you might even want to use both on different drums in the same song. So if you're interested in that, let me know. If you have any other questions, please let me know. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And check out all the other plugins at MeltUpProduction.com. Till next time, see you.